Does Israel have the right over the land of Palestine as they claim? Let us go back to 3,000 years ago. The year is 2000 BC. The land is called Canaan. And who are the Canaanites? They are the indigenous people of the land and the ancestors of Arabs, more precisely Lebanese and Palestinians nowadays. This is the same time when Abraham, the father of the three monotheistic religions, migrated from Haran to Canaan. Fast forward 200 years, Jacob, also known as Israel, the son of Isaac's son of Abraham, was born and had children known as the children of Israel. Until this point in time, no kingdom was established, and they are only considered as tribes, and the land is still called Canaan, but controlled by Egypt. Around 1500 BC, Prophet Moses came and tried to enter Canaan with the children of Israel, but failed. After Moses, Joshua came and lived in Canaan with the Israelites and many prophets after him, such as David and Solomon. This was around 1000 BC, and the kingdom was called the Kingdom of David and Solomon, who ruled with Jerusalem as its capital. After the death of King Solomon, around 800 BC, the kingdom split into many parts, mainly the northern as the Kingdom of Israel and the south as the Kingdom of Judah. In 721 BC, the Assyrian Empire conquered the northern state and destroyed ten Jewish tribes and left the southern state with the capital Jerusalem and only two tribes left. But the year 587 BC, the king of Babylon, attacks the remaining two tribes and destroyed the Temple of Solomon. The Persian Empire took over the land around 530 BC and allows the Israelites to live in Jerusalem and rebuild the temple. They lived there under the Persians until Alexander the Great conquered the land. Fast forward to 50 BC. Then comes the Romans conquered the land. Around this time Jesus was sent to the Israelites, but they didn't accept him and claimed that they killed him. The Israelites tried to revolt against the Romans but failed and many were killed, so they fled all around the empire. Around the year 300 to 400 CE Christianity became dominant and Jews were prosecuted because they killed the God of the Christians according to them. Around 600 CE Islam came, and the second Khalifa Omar ibn al-Khattab conquered Jerusalem, and the Jews welcomed the Muslim in hope of better conditions, and for the first time in history, Muslims, Christians, and Jews lived together in peace. This is what we now know as the start of the Golden Age for Jews. Around 1099 CE, the Crusaders took over Jerusalem and massacred every Jew they came across. In 1187 CE, Sultan Salah al-Din al-Ayubi takes back the city and invites the Jews back again to live in peace with Muslim and Christian once again. All of this changed after the First World War, when the Ottomans lost the city of Jerusalem. The land was called Palestine, and the British for some reason promised to give it to Zionist even though it doesn't belong to them. The Zionist movement then started prosecuting Palestinians and building illegal settlements after the Palestinians welcomed the Jews that were running from the prosecution all over the world. Since then, the invaders also knows as Israel keep expanding and taking over Palestinian territory, claiming it's their right even though the Palestinians are the indigenous people and their ancestors are the Canaanites, who were there even before Abraham, let alone Jacob, the father of Israelites. If you watch this far, it means that you are human enough to do some research about what is happening today in the war where hundreds of children are killed, and not just believe the massive propaganda scheme pushed in the mainstream media by the Zionist apartheid state. I wish that you are honest enough to be just and chose the correct side from history. And always free Palestine.